Second part of the matzo ball soup recipe is the matzo balls. So the first thing you need to do is in a medium bowl, you need to crack the eggs, place them in there, and always use large eggs. Every recipe will always call for large eggs, even if, even if it doesn't say it. Large eggs are a standard. Um, you're going to want to take those eggs, you're going to want to beat them, and you're going to want to whip them really good. Don't get too crazy with it, but make sure that, you know, you beat them well, they're mixed well, um, and getting ready for the next step. That's a big part of this recipe. As you can see by um, how far we beat the eggs and blended them together, this is perfect. This is what we're looking for. Nice yellow, all consistent. Next, you're going to want to add the matzo meal, salt, pepper, and mix well. Take care to ensure that all the matzo meal is incorporated into the egg mixture. Afterwards, you're going to want to refrigerate this mixture for about 30 minutes. This helps to get the mixture ready for the next steps. Once the mixture has sat in the refrigerator, you're going to want to make balls out of it. And don't laugh. Um, I used an ice cream scoop. Um, you can use other elements if you'd like um, but you know keep them consistent keep them the same and uh, definitely you know plate them up like I'm doing here and have them ready to drop in the next stage which is going to be the boiling water to cook them As we talked about before, get a pot of boiling water going and drop your balls in. Use the spoon that I just showed in the video. Gently lay them in there. Um, takes, you know, about 10 minutes to cook properly. If you did the balls right. Oh, gosh. Let's not all laugh over balls. It is funny. But at the end of the day, it's a great soup and... It is funny. It is a nice, wonderful, if you're sick, you don't feel well, provides all the nutrients and everything you need. So definitely enjoy it. And as you can see in the video, um, these were boiling. They're at their time. They're ready to go. Pull them out, put them to rest, and getting ready to put in the soup. It's that simple. You have your matzo ball soup ready, your stock. You just add the matzo balls and let it simmer for a little bit and go.